I guess I won't get to eat my breakfast right away here. Oh well. Oh well. It's gonna be WDM2. Kurtball trying to stay in the game here. It's gonna be Kurtball with an initial uh, pain cake. Uh, Frag still getting away with a rocket launcher as Red Armor comes up. Very nice rocket bounce before that Mega came up. That's really gonna help coming out. But man, coming into mid, he just eats two rails. Is bam. Absolutely nasty, trying to back out of that last shot. And stay somewhat not soft, but man. Cripple's just not missing with any of this. Let's take a look here. In that first 30 seconds, hitting 40%, but man, he threw out so many. He's got no more ammo for you here. But he's already done the work. And Frag Stealer will be going down there 2-0 here in the first minute. And being caught with your pants down in the plasma in the uh, LG hallway. That's just kind of nasty. Kerpal is already doing a lot of damage there. But man, this LG is actually doing the work. Fragstone is still going to go down there as Kerpal picks up more e EB ammo. Oof. Nicely done there from Fragstone. Kerpal, fairly low on health. Couldn't quite make that jump with the gun blade. So now he's got to choose between mega health. But yeah, that's a, that was a perfect, perfect play out of Kerpal. You go like, oh man, I don't have control of, of Mega, but oh, my opponent just now picked up yellow. You have time, just barely, to go get Mega and run back and get red. I mean, unless they braille you out of the air on your way back from Mega to red, that is like the safest thing to do and you get everything. So very well read from Kerpal, very nicely done. All right. is going to be coming back in for the red armor. I mean, yeah, he, more damage could have come out of that last minute or so, but he's still looking at a very solid 5-0 lead here. Throwing off a lot of grenades. We just heard the red armor teleport. Well, very early for it. And now you can't hide behind the teleporter. Rather in front of it, but Kerbal right on top of the red. Three seconds too early. It's going to be enough for a fight, but no, the damage is going Kerbal's way, but the telefrag... Oh, it's going to be his, so it's going to be Fragsteel with the fresh red armor. Kerpal is trying to mat it up and finish him off, throwing away one, two, three <laughs> lives, but finally getting the EB shot. Down to 25 health, though, like, this should turn around in Fragsteel's favor fairly quickly. Like, yeah, like, go aggressive, man. This is your time. Make it happen with rockets. There's the Mega up. He's going to get the grab there eventually. He has one face stuffing rocket finishing up with the grenade to bring it up to a two frag game here. Oh, thanks, friend. Bouncing me right into the red. But man, hitting that last rock, that was a nasty one. It was a fairly low flying air rocket, but I'll still, I'll still count it. Every single Mega's been a just nasty fight here. Kerpal's going back into red, and he wants this to be a lot cleaner. Like, sure, make the, the Mega messy. It's going to happen a lot less often. But the red, that's going to be clean. But Kerpal's not hitting as many of these EBs as he was. Let's take a look at how his... Uh, oh, he's actually gone up 50%. Holy crap. Almost halfway through, and we're looking at 50% Railgun. That's just amazing. I actually find that I'm saying Railgun less and left, less, which makes me feel like a terrible person. Because I've always felt like the unnecessary change of the name was just ridiculous. Now, I think it's because they renamed the shotgun a Riot Gun. Let's be honest, Riot Gun's a pretty baller name. But it's like, oh crap, well, what are we going to do for RG then? Uh, Electro Bolt? No. Oh, Electro Bolt, I guess. And w which is way less inspired than Riot Gun. Alright. But hey... Uh, Never mind, that was going to be a bad, bad joke. Anyway, Kerpal <laughs> taking away red armor here. Only up by two frags now. Oof. Nice, nice distance work there. And we were really looking for Frag Steeler to make use of those EBs a little bit more. It didn't quite work out in his way. Kerpal now at 100-100 on the chase now. He's being really careful through those teleporters now. Does not want to lose all of his stack, all of his momentum, all of his advantage to some dumbass telefrag, even though amazing work by a frag stealer. Nice rail there. There's nothing wrong with calling a shotgun a shotgun, because that's what it is. 
Even though I, I totally agree that Riot Gun is a pretty damn cool name. I, I'm just sad that it forced the Electro Bolt to come into existence. Like, it's a fair trade. Got 9 on 3. Kerpo's looking very stable here. He's looking at the point where he should be able to control both items. Oh, but he's still down below here. I mean, Frag's still looking head back towards Red at will, but he wanted to dance around the 25 pickup a little bit too long. And dick around there. That's going to cost him for sure. So 11 on 3 now. Only 4 minutes 27 seconds left on the clock. And I don't know about this. This could be troublesome for Frag's doing But hey, Gunblade in the corner. Always classy. Always the right decision. Cripple's like, what? I thought we were still doing that. Fine, we can bring guns into this if you want, but man, that jump pad. Two health, like I can see the justification, but there's the gunblade finally finishing him off. 12 on 3 there. Well, shotgun should do more damage than a rocket launcher if there's like point blank range. Like, that's how it, that should work. That's how it worked in, in Doom 2, and so it worked in Quake 2. Quake's always had a nerfy shotgun anyway. Quake 3 has always had a nerfy shotgun anyway, so it's inadmissible. Quake World, ah, eh, nobody uses a shotgun. That's a three weapon game. LG grenades and rockets. Which is incidentally why at first I was like, alright, shoot mania. I'm gonna give that a chance, because, you know, minimalistic weapon design, that, that could work. Like, three weapons work just fine in a game. Uh oh, Kerpel's going to timeout. But then they had to go and just be bad at everything. Fix your fucking lag. Yeah, the warping's pretty crazy. You know what I'm happy about, though, in a really grim, this sort of asshole way? I like the fact that Shoot Mania just doesn't fucking exist anymore. Like, I was actually going to be really sad if esports moved to shape Shoot Mania, but I knew, like, as soon as Ubisoft realizes how much money they're losing and the fact that they're paying Quake players to show up and then paying them the prize money. Like, man, I, I just hope this goes down the drain. And thankfully, it did. The wider world went, you know what? No, this is bad. And it was weird because they, like, tried to, quote-unquote, simplify the FPS experience, except their game types were just so complicated. They're like, oh, yeah, it's 3v1, and you can only use this weapon when blah, blah, blah. And if you want to jump, you got to hold down the run button. No, no. That's not how that works. Dumbasses. If you're making, like, a first-person shooter, like, complicated to a Quake player, you goofed. You've done fucked up. Anyway. I, it, it makes me sad that because it was a shooter, it didn't succeed in the, in the more general gaming populace. But on the other hand, it was so terrible. I'm just so glad that it just got wiped off the face of the planet. So... Anyway. Meanwhile, there's shit like this out there that doesn't have Ubisoft behind it. And it's hard now because it used to be you could, you know, present a game to like the CPL or something and be like, hey, run this. And CPL would be like, yeah, sure, cool. We'll help you sell your game. And that was like one positive thing of, of what came out of the whole painkiller debacle is that it wasn't a company that was going to be able to turn painkiller into an esport by itself. Like, they needed the backing of the organization to do that. But now, because it's the developers who are backing the esports, like, unless you can develop your own community yourself, now you're kind of stuck. Zoot's girlfriend plays Shoot Mania. <laughs> Alright, well, if Zoot's girlfriend plays by herself, you know, it's between him and her. You know, that's, that's something else. <laughs> I have a final minute there. But Kerfball looks like he's uh, woken up a bit. Can't say the same for myself. Yeah. I feel the same about Shoot Mania as I do about when O.J. Simpson published that book or tried to publish that book, if I did it. I'm like, man, if this becomes a bestseller, th I'm just done with humanity. Fortunately, nobody bought it. That's exactly what happened with Shoot Mania. <laughs> oh, did that guy play Splash himself? That's, that's nasty. But 19 out of 6 Kerpel doing quite well here Frag Stealer having a bit of trouble on DM2 But he's got another map to pick it up here
And honestly, just as a completely irrelevant aside, how are games like Dota and League like runnable in a in a tournament setting, especially in a LAN? Like the matches could go on forever. If somebody DDoS is your server, cop cop team solo mid, then you've got to restart all your games. Is this as far as running it, like Quake is hard enough to run as it is. It's insane. Anyway, DM12 is up next, guys. Not quite enough time for me to eat a whole egg. But man, did I try. Here we go, guys. DM12, Curveball versus Frank Stiller, map two. With Frank Stiller taking away the first one. I'm sorry, losing the first one. Sorry if I gave you some hope there. Kerpal taking a fairly handy lead, but Kerpal proceeds to just derp himself to death in that first fight over Mega. But that fight didn't really need to happen. Like, the, the great thing about Wars, I was like, oh, first 15 seconds, it looks like, <laughs> it looks like Mega's gonna be fucky. I'm gonna get the hell out of Mega. You know, I'm gonna go over here and get red. Take the yellow on the way, by the way. Like, that's the smart thing to do. In most maps, I mean, this applies to, to Quake Live as well. In most maps, you know, Mega is not better than Red Armor by itself, but plus a, a yellow, like it certainly is. Like, Mega plus yellow is fantastic. So if Mega looks like it's not going to be obtainable, like, get out of there, but also get the yellow. So that when you take red, you know, you have the advantage. That's not how that panned out. So it's going to be one-on-one -on -one here so far. Kurtball railing it up, though, taking Frank Steeler down. But we hear a green armor taken away there. Red's gonna be up. Purple's got his back to it. He can take it at will now. And was that actually the Mega getting taken away? Yes, it was. No yellow for him yet, though. So the top one will be spawning up here. Frags are making a bit of a detour to get that grab. Railgun trademarked? I don't think so. I, I really doubt it. Uh, I don't know why I, I never thought of it. I mean, it's a good point. It's a good thought. But I, I would really be surprised if the name Railgun is trademarked by ZeniMax because Railguns are like actual things. It's like putting a car in your game and going, well, we have the name car now. You know? So, I, I'd have, I have, to have to look into that. Anyway. I mean, there has been an effort by Warsaw to just, like, not use Quake names for stuff. <laughs> Jeez. That wasn't very nice. Sorry, IRC stuff. Wow. Yeah, it, it's not a real-life concept. Like, it's a real-life thing. Like, I, I went to high school with people who built railguns in, in high school. Sure, they, they shot peas at the speed of a... Of a falling pea, but yeah, it was still a railgun. And they're used in the navy, and yeah, it's, it's a real thing. Anyway, three on five here. We've actually got a pretty fucking close match here. Frag Stealer working through some of his lag there, I think. We've got Plaza up for him, and he's hitting a fair bit, but a, oh man, that warping. How to how to dodge <laughs> an EB bolt like that? Yep, time to lag. In my mind, if you have a button set up to, uh, you know, drop a packet so that you, you get missed on, like, then the challenge becomes, like, hitting the button at the right time. So if you're able to do it, like, more power to you. Frag Staker. Ooh. Frag Staker killing his own damn self with Plaza there. But man, Gunblade to Rockets, that's why War sounds so pretty. But he really wants that Mega. A little too eager for a Mega when you've only got 37 health. Like, at that point, like, yeah. Get, get some regular health first. Get an armor. Come back for the Mega when it's actually going to do you real good. But you got Rail off there. Three on seven now. Nice. Careful looking for that last bit of Rail. Not quite able to get that. He's got rockets though, so you should be able to close the distance and switch over to that pretty soon here. There you go. That'll leave red armor up and available for Kripal. Come back into mid map. Taking a look at where Fragster is going to be. And he's got rails now, so he's 
Good to go. Pop it up looking for it, but he's leaving himself a little bit open to these rockets coming from under the stairs. It's going to be nasty for him, but man, there's the rail to pick it up. And a nasty spawn for uh, for Brag Stealer. I mean, the red was up, but Kerpel's just going to be like, oh yeah, this this is mine. You can't have that. So five minutes left, five frags in a row for Kerpel. 11 to 3 here. Uh, yeah, I mean, so getting yellow to red is like not going to give you the. the the combined, you know, values of both, but it denies the yellow from your opponent, so that's always nice. You know. My argument is that, you know, in the case of a Mega, if you got 30 health, either you're going to be sitting on a Mega and you're going to be a sitting deck because you got 30 health like we've seen, or you get the Mega and you're like, yay, now I have 130 health. Hoo-wee! Aren't I hot shit? I have a Kerpal taking down frags over here. I love the one-way teleporter. And this game's got personality, too. Granted, some of that personality is in the form of pad pork, which I'd be totally okay with never seeing again. But the game's still got pers more personality coming out of its butt than most games. Like, Big Vic is just such an awesome model. Anyway. So let's take a look at what Fragster is doing off the spawn here. Let's see why things aren't quite going his way. Qu taking a quick look at accuracies for him. He's got some decent EB. His LG's a little bit weak here, though. He's able to take away Mega YA. Nice. That was some good foot footy work with the rocket launcher. That worked out well for him. And now he's able to enjoy the red armor, and now he can sort of start to crawl his way back over to the other side of the map and take over there. Now I crawl, I, I don't know if the teleporter is actually the best idea there. Like, be able to flush through these central alleys and figure out where Kerbal is coming from, like, that's valuable info. That's what the, the teleporter sort of robs you of. It's like, all right, you're gonna have a, a really crappy way of coming into the, the mega. You've got that long hallway. Um, and if your opponent's camping out in the quarters, you have no way of knowing which one until you actually get to the Mega. So. In that case, I do believe it would have been better for Frag Stealer to, you know, take the long way. He had time. He had the Frag advantage. He could he could have caught Kerbal when he was, you know, getting weapons and shit. Oh, but he's using machine gun now. It's cute. And the machine gun does sound amazing, especially with the hit sounds. Plop, plop, plop. Nice pop, but it popped it right into his own face, so 5 on 17. Not looking quite doable in these last two minutes. That means that Kerpal would be moving forward here. Uh-oh, Kerpal's not moving. Um... Mm. Mm. Is this gonna call GG? What? Okay. Why? Why careful that move? Is it? It really? Are you just gonna like walk away and slow spawn? Or did you just have to like pick your nose or something? What the hell, man! Like, if, if Rockstar calls GG, that's one thing. Like, if you just stand there and slow spawn for like the next minute and a half, that, that's not uh, cool. Holy, can't get 10 frags in that time anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Look at this. What? What? I, what are you doing? Really? Come on, Kerpo. That's not cool. Alright. Frags is going to like take it into his own hands. Like, alright, fine. I'm forfeiting. 